Mansers was a show on Spike from September 19th, 2007 to February 3rd, 2011, with a number of 39 episodes over four seasons, and something I should have never watched. No one under the age of 18 should have watched this show, and ironically, anyone over the age of 18 would have known that this show was, like, super lame. It was cool in, like, the way that Axe Body Spray is, meaning that really only 13 edgelords thought they were cool for liking it. This show was a blast from the past in the worst possible way. Memories of a 13-year-old JT watching reruns of this show in his grandma's basement on an old CRT, terrified that someone was going to burst into the room at any moment, flooded back into my mind. Mansers was a weird show. The perfect way to describe Mansers and how cool the people behind it thought it was is just by reading the official description of the show. Hi, the women and the children. This program is strictly for the guys. Each episode attempts to provide answers to the burning questions only men would be sophomoric enough to ponder. Such as, how long can a man survive on beer alone? Or what is the best organ to eat if you're a cannibal? Comedic reenactments, experts' opinions, and men on the street interviews get to the bottom, and we mean bottom, of it all. This show says it's geared towards an 18 to 40 year old demographic, but let's be real, this show is for 13 year olds who thought it was cool to curse and chug energy drinks while playing Call of Duty. Now, I remember two questions asked by this show, and they have to be two of the dumbest questions I've ever heard. But they're the ones I remember, so we're going to be looking at them. Before I watch the clips, I'm going to predict the answer, predict how they came to that answer, and then give my opinion on their answer and how they came to that answer. Please keep in mind that I went to film school. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. And I'm doing very, very light research. I mean at the most page two of Google light. Question one. How fat would a dude have to be to stop a bullet? They're probably testing this by just shooting animal fat or human fat from a liposuction clinic. And I'm going to say it's around 2,000 pounds of fat because I think density would come into play here. And I don't think fat is very dense, but let's see what the results they got are. Will the flab be a buzzkill? <laughs> The beer is safe! But where's the bullet? Watch again! There it is! The ballistics gel stopped the slug! 12 inches in! That's equal to a 1,210 pound dude! So they got the answer of 1,210 pounds using ballistic gel instead of actual fat. They never showed a formula for the conversion, so it's a little suspicious, and I'm not going to sit here and figure it out, because I myself am horrible at math. So I'm calling slight BS on this, because they're going off of inches, and ballistic gel is from what I can gather a lot more dense than fat, so it would take a lot more fat to stop a bullet, and not only would the amount of fat outweigh the amount of ballistic gel, it would also take a lot more space. Meaning that while 12 inches of ballistic gel would stop a bullet, I doubt that 12 inches of fat would. So I'm just going to say they're wrong. If you can prove me wrong, I'll pin your comment. Question number two. What can stop binge drinking brain damage? I'm going to be putting brain damage in quotes because they're making it sound way worse than it actually is. They're probably not going to be testing anything. They're probably just going to be asking a neurologist. And my guess for the answer is... I don't know, drink responsibly. How about that, dude? So I was right. They do ask a neurologist, Dr. Jerome Lisk, who is an actual neurologist I checked. And they go through two potential answers, like greasy food, which can actually have the opposite effect and cause more damage, and coffee, which can also cause damage because it prevents the cell growth of the hippocampus, which affects learning. But the actual answer is... What can stop binge drinking brain damage? The way for a guy to keep boozing it up without his IQ going down is to... Smoke weed! We 
researchers at the University of San Diego have found that you can actually protect your brain from the effects of binge drinking by smoking marijuana. Damn right! According to the study, big-time booze hounds have white matter cellular damage in eight different areas of their brains. But binge drinkers who also breathed in the funky fumes of wacky tobacco only had damage in one area, the fasciculus. I wasn't able to find this study, but if I do, or if someone else can, I'll pin the comment. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm going to need a source before I say it's 100% right. Because even with the neurologist, I just can't bring myself to trust the show named Mansers. I answered those two questions because they're the two questions I remembered most from the show, and I just wanted to show you what type of questions they asked on this show. The only question we have left to answer now is, should you watch it? And that's a big fat no from me. First off, this show is basically... And second off, this show is loud and obnoxious and you have to be the worst type of person to like it. Which explains the large amount of 13 year olds that watch this show. The writing and the narration is annoying and obnoxious, but might be slightly charming in a so bad it's good way for some people. I don't want to talk about this show or even Spike TV again because it makes me feel icky. If you want to know the perfect way to sum up this show, take this quote from comedian Eric Andre. This is the show. Mansers, if like, if Maxim Magazine and Crystal Meth had a baby, <laughs> it would give anal birth to the show Mansers. <laughs> and he's absolutely correct. Mansard should stay in the past where it belongs, forgotten by a world that it just doesn't fit into anymore. Thanks for watching the video. Do you remember Mansards? Did you watch or were you fortunate enough to have never heard it before? And if that's the case, I'm so sorry I ruined it for you. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, and remember if you find studies and research backing their claims up, please link them to me and I'll see you next time.